Hello friends, how are you? This session will be more hands-on because I want to show you how I record my own meditations. And I, I do it in two ways. So I have two microphones. The most important here is that the quality of your audio, audio is like really high and that you don't have background noises because what you want is that your students or your clients really connect with your words and with what you are saying and your guiding. So we don't want the background noise. So I really recommend that you get a microphone. I have two. One is this little one. It's called Lavalier. That's the type of the microphone. And the other side of this little one, it's, it's suitable for my iPhone. So this, this brand is called Boya. And the simplest meditations that I record is on my phone. So I literally record a voice note and I save it with the name of my client and I send it to her or to him. That is one way and this is really, really easy. You can just name it with the with the theme or the topic of the meditation or with the name of your client because I, I do customized meditations according to the person's limiting beliefs or desires or anything that I want to create on that client. So sometimes I title, title it with the name of the client or sometimes with the topic. That's one way. And this is really, really easy because you just press record, send it. I usually with my clients, we talk on WhatsApp. So I just send it to them like that. And the other way that it's a little bit more, I don't want to say complicated, but it's, it's yeah, it's more complex. Uh, and this is for Mac users. So that's just to have in mind because you need to have GarageBand uh, is, is where I record it. So for this one, I use a more pro microphone, this huge one. Uh, it's this brand. Maybe you have seen that. It's really popular. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's sure. Sure. I don't know. I'm not a native, native English speaker, as you can hear. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, basically with this one, the cable that came with this, uh, one side is to plug it in this one and the other side is to plug it on my Mac. And I have a MacBook Air 2021, I think, or 2020. So that's how it, it suits. But also it came with another cable that the other side is a USB. So maybe that's also good for other laptops that are not Air because I don't have USB port in this one. And once it's plugged, I would open GarageBand and then I will create, let me do it from, from the very beginning. Yeah, so if I open GarageBand, the first thing that I see is this empty project. I would open it. I would choose using a microphone or line input. And here there are some things that for me just confusing. So what I do is that I unselect these two and that I, do, I choose time. So that's it. And as you can see, as I talk, this moves, right? And that's also very, very important to consider that here on the input part, that your microphone is selected because if it's not selected, then you can talk and talk and talk and talk and nothing uh, will be recorded. I mean, will be recorded, but only from the speakers or the microphone of your laptop that happens to me and it was really painful i needed to record everything again so yeah make sure that it is and from here you will push the red button record and you can see that i am talking i would start leading the, the meditation hello welcome to this meditation find your position your sitting position and then you can start right and you can see that if I speak super close to the microphone, it will be super loud. And if I get so far, it will be super little. So the idea is that it's kind of medium, right? So like, I don't know, some people say like it's one, one hand from your microphone, like this. Yeah. And you can re release and you can make a test. So like you can stop it and then go from the beginning and then you can play and release it to yourself. Like now I'm recording, so I won't listen, but uh, you can listen if it's too loud or if it's not so loud. And also on, an, on a second channel, you can add some 
soft music. And for this one, I what I do, I don't know how right is this, but I think it's fine because it's it's um it's a free music that on YouTube it says that it's uh, royalty free. Royalty? Yeah. And I like to use binaural beats. So binaural beats are always really good for meditating because they slow down your brain waves. So I would use this one. And out, you can just drag and drop it. And then automatically when you play it, you will listen to it, right? So like it's gonna be mixed, combine your voice and then the music. If the music is really loud, then you can turn it down with the volume like this. So that what we want to have on the first, on the front, it's your voice. And then on the background, the music. Really check if it's royalty free music, because then if you upload this one to YouTube or Spotify, probably they will take it down. So we don't want that to happen. So just check that it's um, royalty free. And once you are happy with your meditation, probably you want to cut the beginning or the, or the end of it because sometimes we take time, right, to start. So then you have this kind of, I don't know, what's this, uh, like, square, you know what I mean. So then you can just cut it to the moment that you start it. Mm -hmm. And then you can also cut the end. Yeah. And for this one, what I recommend to this uh, long song is that you place the, um, I don't know also what's the name of this thingy, but uh, place it where you want to end it and then click uh, on the right. Is it clicked? Ooh, it's not working now. Let me check it again. Interesting. Uh huh. Look on split at play head. Oh, for some reason it's not working, but the other way we can do it is that you go to the end and then you just come to where you want to cut it, right? So like, same as what we, how we did with the audio, we can do with the music and then just crop it, crop it, crop it until the moment that you want to, yeah, finish. And now you have it, you can play it from the beginning to make sure that it's, it's gonna be nice. And then to export it, you just click on file sorry, on, on share, share and export song to disk. And then it's gonna be an MP3. You can uh, test meditation. You can add here the name of your meditation. And then I usually put it desktop. My desktop now it's super messy, but <laughs> I always export it to that. And it will take some minutes to do it. And then at the end you will have it. I don't want you to show my desktop because it's so messy but yeah I, I probably will share it desktop so it's gonna be here once you export it we name it yeah we named it test meditation you, if you double your click position, your sitting position and then it's here right and that's it and with this mp3 you can share it with your clients you can upload it to spotify to youtube all for youtube it's another procedure because you need an mp4 so you need a cover and then on the back your audio i can make another video if you need that one but yeah so this is how i do mine so with this do the little one this lavalier this is the really easiest but of course the quality of the audio is not the best it's just a tiny one but i use it when i travel or when i yeah, when basically when I'm traveling and I, I agree with a client like, okay, I'm going to send you this for tonight because in the night normally is when they listen to it. So I need to record it and maybe I am traveling or whatever and I don't, I'm not at home with my big, beautiful microphone. Then I just use this one. But if you have the chance to get a more pro one, it's really cool. So I hope that this is useful for you. And yeah, let me know how your meditations go. Bye bye.